Good morning, welcome to ETX Capital Market Byte. Today is the 19th of November 2015. My name is Dominic Stewart. The dollar moved away from its recent highs at its last night's FOMC meeting minutes suggests that the US central bank would have enough confidence in the US economy to raise interest rates in December, but would proceed cautiously with further tightening. All major US equity markets closed in positive territory, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average rising 1.42% to 17737 spot 16. The S&P 500 up 1.62% to 2083 spot 58 and the Nasdaq Composite adding 1.79% to 5075 spot 20. In Asian trading the dollar is sold as investors took profits following its recent 7 month highs. The dollar index was down 0.4% to 99 spot 217. The euro edged up to 1 spot 0707 and offers 7 month trough of 1 spot 0615. The dollar also eased against the yen to 123 spot 25 after touching a three month peak of 123 spot 67. The commodity market took a battering also as zinc, copper, lead, and nickel all traded near their lowest levels in five to seven years. Oil prices edged up slightly on short covering, crude gained 22 cents to $40.97 a barrel, while Brent added 43 cents to $44.57 per barrel. In the equity space, Poundland have seen profits fall with its six-month report. Pre-tax profits fell to £5.3 million from £9.3 million in the same period last year, as the company blamed the cost of its trial in Spain and the fees involved after acquiring the 99p store chain. In early morning trading, the stock is down 19.34% at 224 pence per share. Traders will be eagerly awaiting British retail sales later this morning at half past nine, with analysts forecasting negative 0.4%. And the US's Philly Fed Manufacturing Index later this afternoon at 3 pm, forecast at 0.1. Thanks for watching.